Hi guys, so welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a full face of Clean Beauty featuring Kosas. So I'm not going to use a primer today because this tinted face oil is kind of finicky and I've heard that it's best when used alone. So I have the tinted face oil in shade 5.5 which is a medium olive tone. The tinted face oil is called the Sweatpants of Foundation. Um, so I guess it's supposed to be really easy to put on. Um, you can use your fingers, a brush, or a sponge. I'm going to use my fingers today. And the um, directions say to shake the bottle really well. And I just put about five drops on my fingers. I'm just going to rub it on my face. Seeing monsters at your window. No, you can't sleep. You Taking five more drops. You don't have to play the hero. In the description, I think it says you only need like two to four drops, um, which you saw five drops didn't even cover my cheeks. Cause I got you like you got me. And this is meant to be a light coverage face oil. I wouldn't recommend this to people with dry skin um, because it's clinging to all my dry patches I have right now. Like on my nose and in between my brows. I don't know if you can see that or not. When the earth shakes, when the bombs scream until I last breath every heartbeat. Okay, now let's move on to concealer. So for concealer today, we're going to be using the Kosas Revealer Concealer in the shade 5.5. I'm going to go ahead and try and highlight under my eyes with this. And the brand is kind of marketed as like an easy, everyday kind of makeup. Um, so I'm just going to continue to use my fingers. Now let's move on to bronzer. So for bronzer, I have the Kosa's Sun Show Moisturizing Baked Bronzer, and I have it in the shades light, medium, and deep. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and swatch all three of these and see which shade I wanna use today. This is what the shade light looks like. This is light swatched. This is what the shade medium looks like. This is medium swatched. And this is what the shade deep looks like. This is deep swatched. So I think I'm gonna use medium first and see how that works out. So I was using the shade medium and I think the shade medium is even a little too dark for me so I'm gonna try using light as well. And I'm just using light to warm up my face a little bit. So now I'm going to take the Color and Light Cream in the shade Tropic Equinox, which looks like this, and I'm going to use this as my blush. Now I'm going to use this highlighting shade and highlight the tops of my cheekbones. When nightmares turn to real life. And also highlighting the tip of my nose 
and the bridge. And the grass fills. So Kosas doesn't have a eyebrow pencil or gel or anything like that. So I'm just gonna leave my brows as is. Um, they are microbladed. Uh, they're just a little faded right now. I'm actually going to get them redone this weekend. So wish me luck. So let's move on to the eyes next. So I have the 10 second eyeshadow in the shade Fahrenheit. And the instructions say to shake well before use. Sweep over clean, dry lids and blend with finger, doe foot, or eyeshadow brush to desired color. So this is what the shade Fahrenheit looks like. And actually, before I use that 10 second shadow, I'm going to take one of the bronzers and I'm going to put that into my crease just to create a little bit of definition. So I'm taking the shade Deep, which again looks like this. Tapping off the excess and just going to try to lightly add this to the crease. Up with landmines, we will face it, standing side by side. Okay, have the bronzer in my crease, and now let's use that 10 second eyeshadow. I'm trying to create kind of like a wing with this. crazy with that so let's go back to the bronzer in the shade deep and I'm gonna tap this out on top <laughs> This is what Undone looks like. And my face is looking way too oily for this tinted face oil. So I'm going to go ahead and set this with my Cover FX mattifying powder since uh, Kosas does not have one. Pick up my sword, yeah, there's nothing on. So here's the finished look. So far my first impressions are not great. Um, I don't like the 10 second eyeshadow. It looks patchy and it smells really bad. I don't even know how to describe it. It smells kind of like mildewy. Oh, it stinks really bad. I don't know what it is. Um, Concealer, not great. Um, bronzer, I think the formula is nice, um, but I didn't like any of the shades, honestly. I have all three of them. Uh, medium is very orange. Light is kind of like my skin tone, but a little more orange than it is. Um, and deep is a pretty color, but it's too dark for me. I did like it on my eyes, though. Um, sweatpants foundation or sweatpants tinted face oil not so much clings on to all my dry patches I honestly just want to take it off um, let me zoom you in closer to see if you can see all the patchiness so there's just dryness in between my brows my nose 
above my eyelids. My eyeshadow looks terrible, by the way, too. The 10 second eyeshadow is patchy, doesn't blend well. Um, just looks like a hot mess. Uh, the lipstick feels fine. Not the shade I would go for with this look, um, but it's what I have, so. Um, concealer was nice, actually. I liked that. Um, I'm not big on concealing under my eyes. Um, it's something new that I've been trying, but um, I, do, I don't really have anything to compare it to because all I've done is the Kosas concealer and the Oma Beauty concealer, but I don't conceal under my eyes much. The color and light cream was actually pretty nice. Um, the highlighter is pretty subtle. Maybe it's just because my whole face is glowy that I can't really tell. Um, but the cream bronzer blush shade I used was pretty. So overall, I liked the color and light cream, the lipstick is a good formula, um, don't love the color on me. Bronzers are nice, just wish they had some different shades. Um, something a little more neutral or even cool toned. Um, these all just run very orange to me. Tinted face oil, didn't love, patchy. Uh, 10 second eyeshadow, smelled terrible. Kosa's Revealer Concealer, pretty good. So those are overall my first impressions of the brand. Um, I liked about half the products, the other half didn't care for at all. Sorry Kosa's. Not that you're watching, but um, yeah, there's definitely some other items I would choose if you're looking for clean beauty. Um, I love the Ilia uh, Super Serum Skin Tint, um, I believe it's called, and the concealer was nice. I don't know, overall I liked everything I tried from Ilia. Um, I'm going to be doing a video on milk makeup next. I believe. Um, milk makeup has some clean beauty and some of it is just uh, cruelty free and vegan. Um, so I'll differentiate those when I make my video. Um, but if you're looking for some cleaner options, milk isn't a bad brand to try either. Even though today didn't go as expected, I appreciate you guys watching. Um, please subscribe and I'll see you next time, hopefully with some better products. Thanks. Bye-bye.